Hello, my name's Peter Mothy. I'm here to present Trademark Capital Management's uh, review of the March 2024 Federal Reserve Open Market Committee meeting. On the meeting today, they came with three particular points to make, and that was that GDP economic growth this year is expected to grow a bit faster than previously thought at 2.1%. Therefore, along with that, core PCE inflation, which is the Fed's favored inflation gauge, is also expected to increase faster than previously expected at 2.6%. Unemployment is expected to come in lower at 4.0%. Overall, the Fed is expecting the economy to do fairly well this year. As a result, they saw no reason at this present time to lower interest rates. So for now, there is no change in their interest rate policy. They did say, however, that their expectation among the 19 voting members of the Open Market Committee was that a slight majority expected three cuts this year, and uh, the minority is still expecting only two cuts this year. And the group as a whole is expecting two cuts again in 2025 and two cuts again in 2026. And let's see what that looks like on the dot plot for the um, for the actual uh, dot plot from the Open Market Committee meeting today. Now, let's take a look at the dot plot from December's meeting. And the dot plot from today's meeting is very similar and so I want to show the slight difference. So what they're expecting now with three rate cuts is for the Fed funds rate in calendar year 2024, which is this column here, is to drop from five and a quarter to five and a half, down by year end to four and a half to four and three quarters. In 2025, this column, the Fed is then expecting interest rates basis the Federal Reserve rate to drop from four and a half to three quarters down to four to four and an, a quarter. In 26, they're expecting it to drop two more quarter point moves, and that would take us down to three and a half to three and three quarters by 2026. Now, if we take a look at Another view of this, this is a graph that was created by Tom McClellan of McClellan Financial Publications. This shows the relationship between the two-year Treasury note yield, which is established by the open market, not the open market committee, but the, the bond market as a whole, and the Fed funds rate as established by the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee. The latter is in black, and you can see the stages that the Fed moves versus the open market as a much, much less smooth or jagged uh, pattern. The important thing to note here is, is that when the open market, when the bond market itself is expecting rates to go up and the Fed has not moved yet, that's typically a sign that the Fed is behind the curve. It also works on the downside where if interest rates start to drop in the open market, but the Fed hasn't lowered rates yet, then the Fed is behind the curve by keeping rates too high too long. Now, if we take a look at the most recent period of time, you can see that the open market, the bond market was already moving rates up well before the Fed started to move rates up in response to uh, it growing inflation. And so the Fed had to play catch up, which they did. And now we see that the bond market has the two-year yield substantially below the Fed funds rate. So this is an indication that the bond market itself is anticipating the Fed to lower rates in the foreseeable future. Of course, only time will tell, but we'll see that in relatively short order, sometime probably in June and or July. You can follow Trademark Capital at our website, trademarkcapital.com. You can follow us on Twitter or what is now referred to as X. You can also follow us on YouTube as well as LinkedIn. Thanks for joining me today.